Hello, it's Jackie Green from GA Interior Solutions, where we are helping build a stronger design community through professional training and educational resources. Today, I have a quick tutorial on making components unique in SketchUp. After you watch this video, you will understand how to make geometry a component and how to make the component unique. I am starting in a simple SketchUp model. I have created a 10 foot by 10 foot basic room in which I want to add tile to the floor. I have created grout by simply drawing a rectangle and giving it a 1 8 inch thickness. Now it is time to create a tile. In a previous video, I discussed the importance of components and how to create them. I will not rehash all of the why components are great. However, the biggest advantage components have over a group is that a component, once copied, are all dependent on one another. This means if you change one, they will all change. However, there are situations where we want a component to be independent of the other components. Tile is a great example. With tile, we often have to cut tile to meet the measurements in the space. Let's start by creating the tile. I'm going to move into top view. I will turn off visibility of my walls so that I can only see the grout. I'm going to start by using a rectangle that is a 12 by 24. I will double click on the rectangle and then right click and make it a component. I like to make the geometry a component before I push pull into 3D. It prevents me from leaving out an edge or a face. And I will name this tile and then click create. Now I can double click into my tile, get into edit mode, orbit around a little, and I can push pull that up 1 8 of an inch. So I have a thickness to my tile. I'm going to give this tile a dark material that I have already imported so that it makes it easier to see as I work. I'll hit spacebar to get out of the command and click in my model space to get out of editing. Next, I will copy the tile across the room. I simply click on it one time. We'll click on M, control on my keyboard, select the corner and start moving along the red axis and I'm going to type in 24 spacebar 1 4 equal to allow for a grout. And then I want four copies, so I just type in 4x, hit the spacebar to get out of command, and here we are. You will notice the last tile doesn't quite fit. I will need to cut the last tile. However, if I cut it, it will cut all of the other tiles too. So I need to make it unique. This is simple to do. I will scroll into the tile so that we can see it. I simply click on the tile, right click, and choose Make Unique. Now I can double click and get into edit mode of that unique tile. I can either draw a line where I want to cut the tile or I can just use push pull from the edge. I will orbit around and use the push pull Select the face, hit the P on my keyboard, corner, and I'll push pull it back. Hit spacebar to get out of the command, click on the model space, and now if I orbit back around, you will see how the tile has been cut, but the others have not. The last tile is unique, which makes it different from the other component tiles. It is still a component, just not dependent on the original. If I change the pattern on the original tile, it won't change it on the last tile because that last tile is unique. I would need to go into edit mode of the unique tile and change the pattern in that as well. So this concludes this quick SketchUp Pro tutorial on making components unique. I cover components and making them unique in much more detail in our SketchUp for Beginners course. You can get a sneak peek of the course by visiting our website at gainteriorsolutions.com forward slash SketchUp. You can also sign up for free access to our library of tips and tutorials on using SketchUp. Access to the library is free and we are adding more helpful resources every month. And as always, feel free to subscribe to our channel and share it with others.